One of the more far-reaching decisions by the Maine legislature came several weeks ago when they approved Valerie Stanfill to be Maine's new Chief Justice. Today, state government took a few moments to make it more public. New Center Maine's Don Kerrigan has that story. It is the happy confluence of three branches of government this morning. The chief executive, the judicial branch, and a few sleep-deprived legislators all joining to honor the new leader of Maine's court system. I state your full name. I, Valerie Stanfill. The governor saying she chose Valerie Stanfill because she knows her work, both as a lawyer and as a judge for the past 15 years. Stanfill saying she loves being a judge and knows there is a lot of work ahead. Indigent legal services. Uh, criminal pretrial reform, sentencing, systemic racism, bias, including gender, cultural issues, uh, and most of all, of course, the backlog and the stress that have been created uh, over the last 15 months by the pandemic. Two other Supreme Court justices and the chief of the district court all agreed dealing with the changes from the pandemic will be a challenge. What changes were made during the past 15 months should we keep? which ones which should we get rid of, and are there other changes that we need to make to address the ongoing backlog? But the backlogs are, are enormous, uh, particularly on the criminal side, where not only the courts have a backlog, but the lawyers have backlogs also. One other important task for the new Chief Justice involves working with the Maine legislature, persuading them to give the money and people needed for the court system to work properly. The other justices say she has the background for that too. In Augusta, Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine.